All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our webinar today, Ready, Set, Connect, covering Project Site. Uh, this is our seventh in the series, seventh and final this series. We're excited. Uh, you guys have come along with us for the journey. Um, have a really exciting topic. I've been getting a ton of questions on what we're going to be covering here today. Uh, I'm excited to, to do it. I'm excited to get questions from you guys, and uh, let's get this rolling. Uh, so what are we covering here today? We're covering data exchange, uh, what was known as Rivet, um, recent acquisition by Trimble, uh, platform as a service connector, the leader in connecting construction solutions, accounting, project management to expense uh, reports, uh, to CRMs, uh, they do it all. It's really, really one of the most exciting things that uh, we've done here at Trimble in, in, in quite some time. Uh, today, we're gonna be covering a specific solution provided by data exchange um, here today on the platform we're using the on 24 platform it's collaborative uh, it's, it's interactive a couple things to note we want you to ask questions uh, we'll try to get to as many as we can as they come in We've got q a at the end and if we can't get to them we're going to email you guys and and follow up uh, so there's questions there's also resources here today We've got an FAQ on the solution we're going to be covering. Uh, we've got a link to the video that we're going to be showing of an actual live demo of the solution. But most importantly, I want to introduce my partner here today, Gary Stowe. Uh, really excited to have him on board, and uh, he is the expert that's going to be driving this today. Uh, let me kick it over to him, let him do his own introduction. <laughs> expert, thanks for that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was formerly with uh, with Rivet, and uh, you know we're excited about the acquisition as well. Uh, we're getting loads of calls about, hey, can you guys do this? Can you do that? Um, so we're really excited to be here. I head up uh, the direct sales for Data Exchange. Um, primarily, I work on the CDX side, which is our term for what is typically called a common data exchange. Uh, in this case, it, it, we use it as construction data exchange. One thing you need to know about Rivet is we don't work in, you know, the hospital sectors, the healthcare, any of, the, any of that type of stuff. We're totally focused on construction uh, integrations. And um, CDX, for a lack of a better word, uh, is <clears throat> two systems talking to each other for two different companies at the project level. So that's what we would call an external integration, if you will. An internal integration is you connecting <clears throat> um, Vista to or Spectrum to Bamboo HR or something like that. That's internal to your to your four walls. This is two different companies working together on a project. Think either a uh, a trade partner or a general contractor using Project Site, and an owner or a general contractor using Procore. That's probably more than you bargained for, Dave. Yeah, and what, what, what Gary's talking about solves a big issue that I run into all the time when I'm talking to folks looking at project site is we're a, we're a sub, we're a trade, and we've got a GC we're working for. We have to double data enter our RFIs, our submittals. Project site's great at spitting out information, using templates to bring in bulk responses to RFIs, responses to submittals, easily getting files back in the system. Uh, but we're covering here today is gonna take that one step further. And, uh, I'm excited. So let's uh, let's get going and uh, start talking about the details. Yeah, so, so this is the typical workflow um, that you're faced with. So there's two options for uh, a stakeholder. I'll refer to them in the general frame. Um, you can either not use your project site instance and just put the data in Procore. That's not ideal because then you're losing access to that data at the end of the project or at any time when the two parties can't agree on something, that third, that party that's using, in this case, Procore can stop your, your ability to access that data. So a claim comes up, you're standing there with nothing in your hands. Um, just as bad, is doing double data entry, like this is showing. You enter the RFI in 
project site, attach all the uh, attachments, whether they're drawings or, or specs or, or just uh, images. <clears throat> then you'd have to download those attachments and that RFI from project site, log into Procore, upload, re-enter the RFI info, upload all that information, and then wait on the other stakeholder, be it the GC or the owner, to answer that. And sometimes that goes back and forth because you're given an RFI and they give you an answer and you're like, that's fine, but this doesn't seem like this would work. So there's collaboration going on there, which basically means more double data entry and all manual, of course. Um, and then once you get an official response, you log back into the, you get that email, right, from Procore. It says log back in, get the information out, pull down the final attachments, get back into project site, enter the final response, upload the attachments and close the RFI. And then you've got your answer and you can move forward. So there's all these steps uh, that are going on. And I, I think there's an there's a entity out there called the Construction Progress Coalition that um, attacks process problems within the construction space. And I think they identified that there were I want to say 400 and some on average RFIs for a typical project. So that's a, that's a lot to deal with. And we also deal with the submittals as well. And there's always a ton of submittals. Um, so this is what it looks like today or before the connector. And if you'll go to the next slide, Dave, we can uh, take a look at what it looks like after. So basically <clears throat> you're going to live in the system you prefer in the best project management system, in my opinion, the most economical for sure. And you can enter all that information in, the integration will sync it over to Procore, send that RFI to that stakeholder, be it the GC or the owner, and they can respond in Procore. The integration will run again. It'll sync the comments back, uh, including the attachments and you'll get it back in project site. Seems like a lot less work, right? Because it is. A lot less work, yeah. Yeah, it's really reducing the potential for errors here, right? Losing data, losing responses, not closing the loop. Um, I think one of the things I hear all the time is, as a sub to a GC is, you know, we're never going to get the GC in our system, right? And that's common common issue. It's always the right. other way around. Right. Uh, I have a question that someone doesn't work with contractors who have Procore. Will this work on uh, other apps or only Procore? Currently today, uh, we've only built Project Site to Procore. It's out in the market, readily available, and is on several projects. Uh, we will be building others. I can't give you a, a roadmap or a timeline in the, in the old realm, I'd just tell you when we're going to have it done. But now that we're part of a publicly traded company, I, um, there's some SEC stuff. I don't know. I can't tell you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the fun. Yeah. Yep. Um, if there's no other questions on, on the kind of the basics here, we'll go ahead and uh, I've got a, a demo recorded that our uh, director of product put together. Uh, and we can show that. All right. I'm going to tee it up here. Always a little dicey doing videos on a live webinar. So we tested it out and crossing our fingers, but I have a good feeling that this is going to uh, do what we think it's going to do. So. And while that, while he's bringing that up, John Oberhausen, yes, that is correct. It is a bi-directional integration. All right, let's give it a go and uh, get us through the uh, RFI round trip. Hi, my name is Greg Mattis. I'm the Senior Product Manager at Trimble, and I'm going to talk to you today about the CDX project integration between Project Site and Procore. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the RFI workflow. So I'm here in Project Site. I'm going to create a new RFI.
I'll enter in the appropriate information. And then once I enter in the appropriate information, make sure that we have the question. And I'm going to link the file. I'm also going to link a drawing. Okay, I'd like to file on a drawing. And then what I need to do is I just need to assign it to a Procore user that represents the stakeholder that we want to send it to. So in this case, we're going to send it to the owner and I'll send it to a person with an owner email address. For this demo, I'm going to add Greg Mattis. And you'll see here that the RFI has also been transitioned to open. So with these two fields there, changed, sure. this will automatically trigger. So a uh, couple questions popped up. <clears throat> uh, someone asked, does the Procore user you're assigning the RFI to also need to be set up as a user in project site for the integration? Yes, you would set up that Procore user as a project site user so that you can assign it to them within project site. <clears throat> um, and then the other question is, We currently use Project Site. Will our software automatically update to Data Exchange? If not, how do I activate it? <clears throat> Great question. Uh, you would contact me, and we'll go through uh, your desired workflow behavior to make sure that the integration performs the way you'd want it to perform. And um, we would then activate it so that those, those two systems talk. And then is there additional fee for this service? Yes, there is a, a fee for the... Uh, for the data exchange platform, and there's a fee for the prop for each project, and I can get into those details on a one-on-one -on -one basis. But considering the amount of time you're spending on doing this work manually in two systems today, it's surprisingly low cost, very affordable. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, yeah, I got I got to second that. When I first heard about CDX in this connection, I was super excited. Um, and then my next thought was, oh man, how much is it going to cost? And when I saw the structure, I was pleasantly surprised that this is a, a very viable enhancement to project site. And when you look at the ROI, it's just it's a no brainer. So really excited about that. I'll get back to the video here. And, Give me just uh, a second. Yeah, sorry. Um, can the exchange start in Procore and go to project site? Oh, that's a good that would take uh, some development work. We would have to change the integration behavior. It is possible. Um, don't know an exact timeline of when uh, our team, you know, would be able to get that on kind of on the, on the roadmap. Um, but it is something we could do. Greg, if you have anything to add, go ahead. No, nothing to add. I think, uh, you know, if that's something you desire, again, just just reach out to Gary and you can set up a conversation. Yep. Go ahead, Dave. All right. To the sync, once I click save, from project site to Procore. So I just saved it, and now we'll wait for the integration to run, and then we'll go over to Procore and see that the RFI has showed up in Procore. All right, the integration has successfully run. So now I'm gonna go over to Procore, go to the RFI module, and you'll see here that this RFI has successfully moved automatically from project site to Procore. We'll click into it. You can see that all the appropriate information has moved from project site to Procore. We've appended some information to the question. You can see that the 
file and the drawing have automatically moved over as well. And now from here, we can post a response in Procore and that response will automatically move over to project site. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that and we'll make this the official response. Post the response, we'll mark it official. And now we'll just need to wait for the integration to run again, and it'll automatically move this information back into project site. All right, so the integration has successfully run again. So we'll come back over here to project site and see that the official response has been automatically populated in project site. So we're here in the same RFI. I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh this. We have here demo RFI. Go ahead and open that. And you can see here that the official response has been entered into project site. And that's it. That's how the RFI integration works as a part of this CDX project integration between project site and Procore. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dave. So All right. the, uh, well, I had a thought. Oh, the integration uh, schedule is, uh, can be customized. Uh, I think we've got one customer doing it at 15 minutes. I think that's pretty common. Uh, it could also be 30 minutes. Uh, it depends on your needs and what you, you know, what you're looking for. Um, if you ha are looking for, uh, another contractor to speak with about how they're using the service. I can, I can help facilitate that. Um, am, am I missing any questions down here? Oh, sorry, Hank, John, sorry. That's what I mean by my question. It sounds like you just said that the RFI could not start in Procore then to PS and then back to Procore. Um, well, so John, you're saying, well, just in general, if you're asking, can the RFI be initiated by the, by the GC instead of initiated by the trade partner? Yeah, we, that one might be a little, a little more offline. Yep. Connection. I'll pick that up fine, John, because that would require some uh, integration behavior adjustment. I forgot you're a owner's rep. Sorry. Anything else yeah, I'm missing? I, I got one of my questions answered in that video. I learned something. Cost impact from the impact tab on our RFIs and product side, that, that carries over, that carries through to, Pro, to Procore DNS, which is really cool. Yeah, basically everything that you put in to your RFI is going to transfer over in some way or another in terms of comments or part of the question or attachments. Um, you're welcome, John. <laughs> um, what else would we want to share? Uh, I guess we can open it up for any questions. I, oh, oh, I know what I wanted to say, sorry. So the submittal workflow works uh, in a similar way. One of the things that we're uh, that Greg and I are working on, and by the way, Greg's our senior director of product development or something. I don't know. Um, and he and I are meeting with uh, a team in the MEP space within Trimble to try and understand uh, what the integration behavior would need to be for a trade partner on submittals. Right now, the way the integration works is the submittal is created in project site and it's transferred over to, to Procore. If the integration needs to have a different behavior, we would need to adjust that, and we would have that on our on our uh, roadmap to change. I think we're ready for Q&A. Yeah, let's Q&A time. We'll check it as it's coming in. And for folks who join late in the resources, we've got an FAQ we're talking about data exchange, Trimble data exchange. And just for you folks who came late, that is formerly Rivet after the acquisition. 
little bit of rebranding, but the same amazing technology, the same amazing people like Gary, uh, Greg, and uh, we're happy to have them. Um, videos that are available there as well if you want to review, uh, preview what we uh, just covered already. Uh, are you referring to the financials going back and forth between project site and viewpoint admin ca? <laughs> if you are, and I'll assume you are, that is not part of this integration. That integration, can I say that integration is on the roadmap? I think I can. Yeah, that's... Uh sections of it live it's going to be enhanced uh, in the coming months and with the uh, bringing the rivet team into the fold of trimble uh that's opening up new opportunities down the road for even more connections than we previously planned so uh, okay so they're asking for it more. i'm sorry dave they're asking for it to, for rfis and submittals to go into vista into viewpoint i would uh i'd like to to take that offline and really learn more about what you're looking for there. And then I can possibly address it then with, uh, with Greg. So please reach out to me on that or anything. Gotcha. Yeah, that's, that's all I'm seeing for questions. Can you roll in? Implementation. <laughs> so implementation's uh, fairly painless. Um, you know, we would, we would connect and, and make sure we understand your, you know, your workflow and that the integration fits that, that workflow. Um, there, you'd, be, you'd be onboarded by uh, our customer success team. And it, the timeline for that is, I mean, with an existing integration, Greg, it, it's no more than a week or two, right? Yeah, it's it's quick. I mean, the the we'll we'll collect some data via form. Um, we'll enter that data um, uh, into the integration to make sure it's configured correctly, and then uh, we usually have a, a a small kickoff meeting, and uh, the integration should be live uh, later that day. So, it's a it's a it's a painless process, and you, you just set it up every time you want to activate this integration on a new project. Right, and at this point, um, as you add new projects, we would assist in the uh, registration of those projects. Uh, the intended behavior going forward is for the uh, for you to be able to self-serve and activate or register new projects. Looks like that's it, and we're at 2.23. Well, 2.23 awesome. my time. Look at that. Wrapping up just in time. Want to keep it short. As always, want to be respectful of everybody's time here. We know you're busy. Glad you joined us. Uh, this is number seven in the series, seventh and final. So if you missed any of these you're seeing here, they're all available on demand. Please go back and check them out. We had some really great questions throughout. Glad you guys could join us. Um, Gary, Greg, thank you so much for joining us. We know you're busy. We know, we know that uh, the Trimble team has kept uh, your team extremely busy since you guys have joined so happy that is an work. understatement that is by far an understatement <laughs> and uh, you know I, I i can't say i gotta share that um just interacting with the rivet now data exchange team uh just so impressed with what they do how they do it and how they approach everything so uh, so so glad to have you guys on board and really excited about what's to come thanks dave thanks everyone Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon.